The first banner of the third anniversary is not ending soon, but the paint banners are, and with that also the event, because that's right, part 2 is right around the corner, and I'm here going through the upcoming banners, the upcoming units, and telling you if you should follow them or potentially skip them. I'm Katsuma Gaming. let's get right into this. First info that we can get is directly from the Discord, and as you can see here, teaser, surprise, the two new units in the Tokyo Coordinated Recruit Part 2 are Aqua, Look and Smile and Wiz Unstoppable Shopping. With that we of course have our 2k paid banner, we have a 1 Forza Guaranteed Ticket, a uh, Guaranteed Recruit. By the way, um, while it only costs 2k, I don't think there's any rate up on this banner as far as I see. You get a skill potion, you get a guaranteed 4 star, and it's only 2k quartz. It's in theory not bad, but if you plan to just pull on this banner for the new units, don't. It's a scam. It's only there to, you know, get a 4 star, but not a rate up unit. Then, as you probably could expect it, there is a new limited festival guaranteed recruit ticket same as before if you do the multi on the banner you can get stuff from the multi but the big thing is of course the ticket and here from the ticket you can get legendary festival vanir really good kazuma fine iris really good aure really good cecily really good leah really good darkness fine and union really really good so again if you're missing multiple best units or legendary adventure units whatever you want to call them this is a great banner for you if you're down to invest of course pay quartz into it because you can get you have a high chance of getting something really really good if you have most of them i don't really think it's worth it because then it comes down to uh, eight units in there so let's say you have six out of eight then you have a two and eight or a one and four chance so 25 percent chance to get something new if you think you you like the odds you can pull for that feel free to do so i'm not stopping you just saying keep that in mind if you want to decide on if you pull on this banner or not enough of that let's Take a look at the new units. First up, we have of course Aqua. Again, under the salary units are limited units, so keep that in mind. And Aqua is a dark unit. That's right. This is our first dark Aqua we ever gotten. So that's something new and with that actually kind of refreshing. And let's take a quick look at our kit. First up, physical attack trade. Nothing too crazy, but hey, it's still good for Aqua. We don't have that many who have the trade. There will be more in the future, but for now, I at least I don't have that many, so that's that's good there to grab. First skill is a double random attack, 175% damage two times, and a party tier 1 dark damage buff EX. Again, if you forgot what EX are, EX are buffs that can coexist with other buffs. So for example, if you run this Aqua with, let's say, uh, Fast Aure, who has a self-dark tier 2 boost, this buff can coexist with her buff, so there's like no overlap. The buff lasts for 12 seconds, cooldown of 21 seconds, aka a downtime of 9 seconds, keep that in mind. Second skill is a single target physical attack skill that only deals 128 damage, so you know damage wise not the greatest kit, but it is a party T2 agility boost for 10 seconds with a downtime of 18 seconds. These numbers are really important when we talk about the second unit, so again repeating here, 9 seconds downtime on the first skill and the 8 seconds cooldown on the second skill. So what, what does this mean here? Um, this is the second permanent, in theory permanent, Megumin, you know, explodes after the waves. And so the other is Amy, dark unit that can provide a tier 2 speed boost buff and also can, as the only unit I think so far, provide a tier 1 dark EX damage buff. So in theory, she's a great support for the combination. The only problem that we have with her is, first up, she has rather low damage, because you see the damage numbers aren't that high. And of course, you know, if you run a pure magical team with, for example, units that only buff magical attack, her damage will lack even more. But of course, at least for that, she can use her ulti 2 version 2 to lower the enemy's magical resistance and at least allow your other units to do more damage. So in that regard, She's kind of a support unit that you can use um, to buff your team, but don't expect the craziest damage numbers out of her. So all in all, I think a solid kit if you have two other strong damaging number units that can work with her. The problem with her in the GP version was that we had other units that can do something like that. 
So for example, we had the Bofuri Chris, which had um, a tier one speed boost, but had a CDR skill. So, you know, kind of budget fast Chris and CDR is always really great and needed. And she can both buff magical and physical attacks. So she could self buff, which this Aqua cannot do. So the other Chris just worked better in hyper teams versus this Aqua worked generally better in physical teams. But then you also need a physical buff. But here again, a lot of good dark units that we don't have right now are collab units and a few upcoming dark units are also collab exclusive. So keep that in mind. I first want to talk about the second unit because she kind of rounds everything up a little bit, okay? And the second unit is, as we said before, Wiz. And let's start from the top, okay? First, 6% magical attack passive rate. You know, fine, basic, nothing too crazy. And then we have uh, three times random magical attack. That's right, three times, 164% damage. Three times on a 19 second cooldown. And that's not all. Her second skill is a single target magic attack skill that is 149% damage with a 6 seconds CDR. Plus, of course, her basic that can self heal. Yo, that, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good, I must say. Again, if you guys don't remember that, keep that in mind. Her ulti 1 version 1 got changed that it can apply a tier 3 magical attack buff and a self tier 2 agility boost. Or she can use her ulti 1 version 2 to uh, slow the enemy down and lower the enemy's magical defense. So in that regard, you can either use her as a buffer or a debuffer. And you know, triple it for 6 seconds of CDR is really really good. With that, she has a downtime on her CDR of 12 seconds and a downtime on a triple hit of 13 seconds. You know, just, just throwing the numbers around. And if you combine it, of course, with Aqua's kit, again, take six seconds off, you have a downtime on the speed boost of pretty much two seconds, and you have a downtime of the dark damage boost of three seconds, if I remember correctly. So, you know, these downtimes suddenly aren't that big anymore, not that crazy. And like that, you have a pretty solid core of, you know, Wiz as a buffer potentially with providing CDR and doing a lot of damage. Aqua as a pure support unit. And then, for example, you know, Ari coming in who can apply Rash Red and allows you to nuke. Or, for example, lose it to, uh, use it together with Lolisa. That way, you can use Wiz to load the enemy's magical resistance. You can use Aqua to load the enemy's physical resistance. And you can use Lolisa to buffer your team. Something like that can work great. Again, these two teams kind of like a little bit of CDR, you kind of wish to have more, but at the moment we don't really have that option. And again, if you remember the upcoming dark units, there is not really that big or good unit that's coming up. We of course getting Forbidden Migu, which is a great dark unit, don't get me wrong, and she will be kind of a must pull, but she does provide CDR or anything like that. Um, she's just pure selfish damage and of course you know provide the buffs then we have of course nurse erika in the future who has a speed boost and rash red and i think with nurse erika aqua's kind of dead but again this can take to close to three third of a year so that, that's a while until that comes we have claire who is pure damage and get it with the echo effect so it also doesn't provide any kind of you know, utility for other dark units. And Halloween Leah. Um, she's also like, she's a buffer, but she doesn't provide speed boost. So she can work in a physical team, for example, but I don't think she's that great of a unit. So you have pretty much two options. I think we all can kind of agree that Wiz is potentially the stronger unit on this banner. Okay, she is the stronger unit. I just don't want to say it since I'm an Aqua Sim. I think going for Wiz for a mage team dark is really, really good. She can work great. With Migu, again, Migu's Forbidden Ulti provides damage on hits, so stuff like triple hits are, of course, insane in that regard, right? That's so, so good to have, and that just makes her a really, really great teammate. And the thing with Aqua is, even though she will probably get replaced in the future, it takes a long time before we get her replacement. Of course, uh, with no collapse, stuff can come a little bit earlier, but... You know, also things that has happened is that collapse could be coming rather soon with influence of season three from Konosuba starting soon, April 10th, I think. So by the way, watch season three, it will be parked. But generally speaking, there is a chance collapse are coming and then all I say doesn't really matter because then you can just use the collaboration units. But since we don't know that, I think pulling on this banner is not a bad idea. If you afterwards still have enough 
quartz to pull for forbidden begu you can also hear me out here go with a different route and that is skip forbidden megumin save until the next forbidden banner aka forbidden chris i think and pray either with pay quartz or free quartz that you get forbidden megumin off rate it can happen especially if you decide to do step ups with like a higher chance for forbidden unit on the higher steps there is a great chance that you can get all the forbidden units for that so that's also a possibility you can do if you skip stuff and then pulling this banner might actually be higher prior maybe potentially I i'm not really sure it comes down to what you prefer i think both options are valid strategy i personally will pull on this banner because i'm an aqua sim and if you guys didn't know that, one of the Aqua phases is literally my profile picture. Well, I got it redrawn by Toxic Flink by a beautiful artist, so shoutouts to her. Um, and check her out. Links, uh, like the, the links to the names to Discord and stuff like that are in the video description. But, you know, it, it's my it's my picture, okay? I, of course, need to get the unit, so I'm going hard on this banner. I skip part one for that. And afterwards, to be honest, I just kind of cope and pray that I can potentially snack Forbidden Megumin with not that many pulls. Otherwise, if I just don't get lucky there, I will then start to save until Forbidden Chris. And potentially then decide to top up and actually do some paid step up pulls to get that. I think something like that is my plan. So if you want to follow this thread or not, if you go something different, it's up to you. These are like my personal recommendations. So let me know in the comment section what you would do or if you have some other good strategies or suggestions for how or how much you should pull on this banner. I think my community would love your feedback. So, you know, let me down. Let me know down in the comments below. And last but not least, tier list placements, of course, we need to check that out. Uh, I said it before, um, they're already in there and to no one's surprise, Wiz is up there in the meta units on element tier and Aqua as well, because I still think Aqua will be meta for quite a bit in the top tier. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, follow for more content. Good luck with your summons if you decided to pull. Of course, keep in mind, part one banner is still ongoing, so you can still try to pull on that banner. Try your daily single pull like there, for example, stuff like that. Anyway, I hope you get what you want. Stay strong, stay safe. The hard time is over really, really soon. It's not that many banners until we have a little bit more relaxed time. And see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.